is up everybody the crypto community this is king crypto and today we're going to be talking about how to invest a thousand dollars into crypto during 2018 and what are the best options we're not going to talk about specifics but we're going to talk about a strategy a general philosophy on what i would personally do if i was a newcomer now so with that being said I told you guys I would soon be able to give out more Litecoin, and because of Davercoin, I'm already making a lot of money off of the coin itself. I made an investment, and I put it in at $120, and now it's already at $180, so I have over $300 worth of Daver, and I also made over $300 in affiliates, so I'll start being able to put bigger active investments. I'm really excited about that, and I'll make a video probably this week about my next loan or maybe staking. So without further ado, I'm going to pick a winner. Here's Eddie. Okay, so this is Alien Eddie. I'm picking him today because not only does he comment on all of my videos, not only does did he subscribe and he likes everything, but he also makes all my music. In all the videos you listen to, he has created the songs. And I've never paid him for it before, and I've never really given him anything for it. So I feel like it's only right to help people that are helping me, right? What are friends for if you're not going to help them at all? So I decided I'm going to give him point like coin today. This is the only friend I'm going to help on here. Everybody else, you have a chance on Wednesday and Friday. Leave some comments below, and I'll specifically tell you at the end of the video what kind of comments I would like you to send actually to give me an idea of what I should uh, talk about. All right, guys, today we're going to talk about how to correctly invest $1,000 into cryptocurrencies. So right here before me are the top 10 coins. That's your starting point. You want to invest in uh, one of these coins in the top 10, or preferably two. With a total of six coins altogether, I would suggest you like invest in. And you split up your allocation in one sixth. So one sixth of a thousand, I guess, is like um, one hundred and seventy-five dollars, something like that. And uh, that's what you would want to put in every single coin. Maybe change it up a little bit to your preference. But within the top ten, you want to pick a coin that is the best functional coin in your eyes and the best transactional coin. To simplify crypto. In one sentence, to its bare essentials, there are three types of cryptos. There are privacy coins like Monero and Verge. There are functional coins like Ripple and Ethereum. And there's transactional coins like Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. And with the exception of Bitcoin itself, which is debatably uh, a transactional coin or a store of value, whichever way you look at it. So that's only because Bitcoin right now is not as effective when it comes to sending and receiving payments and the fees associated with sending are astronomical at, right, at the moment until they introduce something like the Lightning Network. So, you have to look into the future with these coins. You have to read the white papers word by word. I'm telling you right now, it'll be worth the study. You read what the coin is designed to be. What the future holds for these coins what does the team think of these coin you know their their own coin that they're working on and you pick that first with the transactional coin so for example if i were to do that right now i would look at bitcoin litecoin and bitcoin cash and then i would cut out the ones first of all that aren't going to work and i think i'm not going to be biased here so i'm not going to tell you what coin i don't think would be a good investment it's up to you. But as of right now, the best transactional coin technically is Litecoin because it is uh, faster. It has 2.5 minute block times. Uh, it's So that's a really good pro. It's also cheaper to send than Bitcoin. So as a, as a transactional coin, it thrives, I would say. And it still is undervalued to me because Litecoin is one-fourth or it is designed to be one-fourth the value of Bitcoin. So if that were to be true, Litecoin would be a lot higher than it is right now. <clears throat> Sorry. So understand that when you're making an investment. Understand the things that they're designed to be. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what one, which one is the best or which one isn't. That's for you to decide. But once you figure it out, invest in your first 
function or your first transactional coin that you really believe in and just leave it there. Secondly, you want to invest in a functional coin. Now the functional coins to me are the future. They're probably the future of crypto and they're going to be the ones that last. If this is a bubble and it crashes, these kind of currencies will be around. Now I know Ripple is not exactly a fan favorite in the crypto community, but if we're just talking about for the sake of making money, then Ripple is a great investment. Um, and that's because it's solving a multi-trillion dollar problem. And that problem is international banking payments. So if you wanted to send a banking payment from this country, or I'm sorry, my country, the U.S. to U.K., it would be easier for you to fly from the U.S. to the U.K. and give it to somebody than for the banks to process it. So Ripple essentially just solves that problem, like right off the bat. So that is a functional coin. It's not designed to be the kind of coin that we send peer-to-peer, -peer, like a Litecoin or a Bitcoin. This is strictly for banks. And you can have your own opinion on it. Oh, it's decentralized. It doesn't matter what you think. The market wins in the end. So you have to make that call yourself. Uh, so there's Ripple. There's also Ethereum, which is a good one. Ethereum actually is cool because it implements, uh, it allows you to write code pretty much with its protocol. And you use the Ethereum token as a way of payments for um, either creating a cryptocurrency that you want to ICO out or just decentralized applications. All right, let me show you real fast. These are some decentralized apps on the Ethereum network that people have coded. And you can see there's a poker platform, self-mining smart contract, strategy games. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. Advertising platform. So the list goes on. And they can do this without a third party. You know, like if you make an app on iTunes or if you make an app on your phone, you have to get approved by like the Apple store. And it's annoying. You know, so with Ethereum, it's kind of a Darwinian thing where if your app is really worthwhile, people will pay attention to it. And that's the way things should be. It shouldn't be controlled. I'm highly emphasizing functional coins because they will be the next big thing. Um, in the next 10, 20 years, they're going to be the ones that last. If this really is a bubble and it crashes, coins like Ripple or Ethereum, I believe, will still be pretty popular because they are not speculative. There's actually value in what they do, uh, especially Ripple. And I know people think I'm shilling Ripple. I don't care about Ripple. I'm just saying that to solve a multi-trillion dollar problem is a pretty valuable thing to be able to do. So it's going to last, you know. It's just it's the way it's going to be. So you gotta got to keep that in mind. Don't attach your emotions to this stuff. You have to just invest uh, in the most intelligent, logical way. So the next thing I would suggest is look within the top 50 to 100 where there's good liquidity, maybe even top 200, and then invest in a coin that's a privacy coin like Verge, and Verge is so private that they actually have an option where you can invest without it even being seen on their own blockchain, but that's, I have a video about that you can watch, but that's a good thing, Monero is a good privacy coin, and then also invest in another very good functional transactional coin. So I have starred some interesting ones. I'll, I'll just talk about Digibyte real fast. Because Digibyte right now is probably the best transactional coin out there. It has uh, pretty much virtual, virtually instant sends because it has 30 second block times. It can take, process a lot more transactions. It's basically one tenth of a penny of a fee. So it's a great coin. Once you're investing in these coins in the top 50 to 100, you have to be more careful because they're not as popular and there's not as much liquidity. Although there is a lot, there's not as much. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful with some of these coins. They could tank or they could really explode. This requires more diligence, more studying about the coin and the team behind it. Um, Personally, why I talk about Digibyte all the time is because they do have all the things that I think makes a good crypto. And it's not really doing much lately, but it, I think, you know, it's not even about that. It's really just about the technology behind it. 
and usually if you stick with something that has good technology the money will follow that so keep that in mind finally you want to invest in two coins that are relatively unknown but have a lot of potential in your opinion uh, so in that case I will show you one coin that I have a lot of faith in I think it's gonna really do wonders so let me just do that real fast so this is Daver coin it's uh, ranked uh, 1175 so it's very low in terms of um, you know where it is as a cryptocurrency but it has a lot of potential because it's the worst starting getting around about its uh, popularity and see you also have to capitalize on certain events and exploit it see because BitConnect and Tabercoin are kind of similar but BitConnect has been having a lot of problems so a lot of the people that are have been invested in BitConnect are just moving straight to Tabercoin because they're afraid of BitConnect falling apart so as a result you sh I'm taking advantage of that because Davercoin has actually went up about fifty dollars in value since yesterday and I've been just lending everything I make from this site I just put it right into the wallet or the Davercoin so that's just an example of what I'm doing um, but there are so many coins it's so hard really to tell you because let's face it, you know, the cold hard truth is that 90% of these cryptos, maybe even 95% are all going to crash one day. Because people are going to realize in a year, who knows when it will happen, but they will realize soon enough that why the hell am I investing in all these speculative coins? They have no worth. What's the point of putting all my money into something that has no worth? You know, a lot of the transactional coins, it's scary because a lot of them don't really have a real backbone behind it except for the fact that it's just going up so let's keep putting more money in and make it go up so focus on the functional coins that's just my opinion but focus on a few transactional coins because they're got they are important don't get me wrong but a lot of these coins are unnecessary why the hell would we be using really hundreds of them what's the point so you want to stick with currencies that will help humanity, currencies that will enable people to transact, you know, coins with a, at a cheaper rate than a bank and at a faster rate at a bank. That's what people got into crypto for. So you want to find those two kind of coins at like the top 10. You want to find the best functional coin in your opinion that will do the most to benefit crypto and money and finance and you want to find the best transactional coin that is the fastest the cheapest and has the most potential with the best team secondly you want to find a really good privacy coin and verge to me is probably that coin but there might be others that are better that I just don't know about but verge I told you has an o its own private blockchain where they can't even have a public ledger of your events so that's pretty wild so that's a good one there's other good privacy coins like Monero but it's up to you it's really your call you have to make the final decision of what you're going to invest in and then finally oh, I'm sorry also you want to find another good functional or transactional coin within that top 50 to top 200 range that could possibly be even better than the top 10 in your opinion and then finally find two coins that you could exploit maybe at the bottom where it's not worth much yet but you see it maybe screwing another uh, crypto over or maybe it just it just has a lot of hype behind it you know and that's what I would do six coins all together um, any expert would tell you not an expert but from people I know that are experts they would tell you that focus on the privacy coins and functional coins as you keep investing they are going to be the future of crypto that's the whole point of crypto too it was designed to be um, decentralized anonymous and essentially changing the concept of money for the better so that's that guys I really hope you enjoyed this video um, my name is King Crypto make sure to leave some comments down below I hit 15k today 
I am super happy about that. Thank you, everyone that has been following me. Make sure to leave a comment below. This is what I want you to tell me. What coin do you think is going to be the best coin? And give me a really good explanation why. Whoever gives me the best explanation will get 0.1 Litecoin for Wednesday. So this will give you not only will it help you maybe win some Litecoin, but it will also force you to study on a coin that is actually worth buying. So I'm giving you like a homework assignment that you could actually win money for. And it might make you make a lot of money. So tell me that's not genius. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Thank you. And let's get cryptical. I want to welcome you to the fastest cryptocurrency channel in the world!